In the universe, man knows it would be presumptuous to assume he was alone. Since the invention of television, we have been broadcasting signals to distant planets. Information about ourselves, entertainment, educational material, important things, also a few cub games. This is something they will never see. This is only on videotape or cable. So for you, in your own home, sit back to enjoy the Wet Ducks World Tour! and watch some TV in the basement for a while. But honey, I need more champagne. What, you drank both cans already? Well, I'll go down to White Hen later and get us some. Okay. So, just like any other day I'd spent since I made it big, I decided to watch some television. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't need to pay, it's my place. <laughs> well, I don't know what's on. Okay. Whoa, no. no. Oh, no, Judy made me block that one. Cable. I guess I'll just watch the news. Brought to you by Beef Stick Deodorant, the smell of a man, the smell of beef. Yeah, I don't know. Welcome to the show. Will be who has been without ever being in is. Tonight's special episode. I don't need this crap. Wet Ducks. I want my money back. With your hosts, Annie Doolittle and Web Foot. That's Foote. At one time, they were poised for world domination. Simply a stone's throw away from completely taking over everything. Then came the fateful mistake of trying to invade Russia and fight a war on two fronts. Oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't wet ducks. That was the Nazis. Uh, yeah. It seems that what little information we have on wet ducks is incomplete to say the least. The nucleus of Don, Mike, and Jim seems to have vanished from the public eye. You could sum it up as... Where, oh, where have our little ducks gone? Who wrote this crap? I don't believe this. It's time for wet ducks to reemerge. Where's the phone book? There. There we are, managers, managers, managers. Managers, there we go. Wow, that's a weird phone number. <laughs> Six U L D V eight. Bill Corey. Yeah. This is your one phone call. Somebody finally called. <clears throat> Hello, Colonel Tom Corey's office. You need a manager for your world tour. Why, why, of course he would do it. Why, thank you very much. Guard, give me my new suit and my walking papers. I'm out of here. I got a job. <laughs> on the railroad all the live long day. Jim. Hey, Don and 
whoever else you got there. Colonel Tom Corey, son. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I've hired us a manager. Manager? Yeah, we're gonna go on a world tour. I'm here to take you to the top. North Pole? No, around the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you in or what? I'm in. Yeah. Come on aboard. Okay, but we'll talk. You gotta wear these hats. Good. You been taking your medication? Every day. Okay. All right. Well, let's go. Let's talk about uh, Please use the back entrance. Oh, the caboose again. <laughs> he gets it. It's occasional. Wow. That's a long train. Quite a club car, though. Hope you enjoyed the trip. Yeah, yeah. Okay, boys, let's start crunching some numbers. But first, I want you to watch this video. Well, we're 
we're on our way for the world tour. Hey, let's go get Mike. Hey, lady, move your butt. Kids, how about another fine wet ducks tune? No, can't you just spank us like other parents? Holly, would what, you like... What are we talking about? What? I give up on you guys. How about just watch some cartoons? How about okay. Little Red Riding Hood? Okay. Can I get you guys something? 
Uh, we're here to see Mike. Who should I tell him is calling? The Wet Ducks. Hold on. Yeah, the boss. Pet Rocks are here to see you. Uh, that's, that's Wet, wet ducks. ducks. Uh, apparently it's Wet Ducks. Okay. He'll be out to see you in a minute. Hey, Jimmy, you ought to buy me a drink. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Real funny. Mm, funniest line in the show so far. What's up? Okay. Hey. Okay. Well, where's you guys at this part of town? We're going on a world tour. And we got ourselves a manager. You don't say. Oh, look, we he I did. Here. Son, it's Colonel Tom Corey here. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Colonel. I'm here to take you to the top. To the top. He's the best. This guy's the best. He's, He's the best. best. Second best is so oh, far down. Man. Better than a best. Well, let me see. I yeah. brought a resume here with me somewhere. Good. There you go. This is good. Resume here, huh? Right there it is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ooh. Uh, this only goes up to 1979. What'd you do after that? I was working for the state. That's it. Oh, for the state. For the state. For the state. state. Uh, uh, state. Uh, five to ten. Okay, yeah, I guess. Yeah, government job. There are, there are. So, are you in or what? I'm in, boys. You know me. All We're right. Family. That's right. Let's do it. Let's do okay. it. Let's do it. Oh, I hate that. Crap. Oh, I guess we're leaving. Hey, Bruce, take care of the bar. For you. Cool. <laughs> Brought to you by Colonel Tom's Fat Free Products. Sure, there's fat in it, but we don't charge you for the fat, so it's free. And that's the latest from Wet Ducks, who've just embarked on their first world tour since whenever. What asked? To comment, Mike Geddes had this to say. For the hearing impaired, we've closed captioned this interview. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Mallory Fillmore of Plainfield Community TV Network News, and I'm here to interview a wet ducks, but uh, there was sort of a screw up, so I'll see if I can find some other wet duck. Uh, there's, there, Don Geddes, wet duck. I'd like I, an interview with you if oh, I would. Sure. Hey, I'll be right back over there. I, I'll get your autograph in a moment. Yeah, I'd like to ask you, uh, how long have you uh, been on this tour? Well, hey, we set out about three weeks ago. About mm. three weeks, yeah. And uh, do you have your itinerary set, or is it still in the planning stages, or? Some of it is. We have, uh, we have uh, several things planned, but uh, actually some of it is still up in the air. Yeah, you know how these things go. Are you having fun doing it? Oh, yeah. I'm, ha I'm having a lot of fun. This is actually one of the mm. best times we've actually uh, been able to get out on the road. It it's really been great. Are you, uh, do you have any new albums coming out? Yeah, as a matter of fact, during some of our off times, we're hoping to get in some recording. We're hoping to get in a lot of recording. Our, our public deserves a new album. How have the crowds been? They've been pretty good, pretty good. I've been real happy, and uh, the reception's been real nice. I mean, some of these people are great. You, uh, you know, you'd think uh, they're deadheads or something. <laughs> yeah, they're following us everywhere. Well, thank you very much for the interview, and uh, this is uh, Mallard Fillmore signing off for Plainfield Community Television Network News, and uh, thank you very much. Sure, it was my pleasure. Who writes this crap? Smith, the white courtesy phone is for you, not that one, the other one. Flight 29 has been canceled due to icing on the wings. Flight 22 has been canceled due to cake on the wings. Oh, wait, guys, guys, here, this is it. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, which of these places are we playing at? Why, well, every one of them, of course. Hey, why are you so daydreamy today? You know, I'm just thinking about the old days. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. When we were younger. Oh, yeah. Younger. 
better? Yeah. Oh, better. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Before my thought we were better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had amnesia, but yeah, yeah. 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 still do. Oh, you know, yeah. at the club. Oh, yeah. at the club, yeah. yeah.
The people down there, they look like ants. Oh, they are ants, ooh. <laughs> are you sure this thing's safe? Well, of course I am. I booked this flight myself. Okay. Besides that, I know the pilot personally. You oh, do? You do? Who is it? Who is it? Why, it's me. <laughs> well, saved me. us a few bucks. Oh. <laughs> well, he's fiscally sound anyway. Hey, this guy's good. That's pretty good. Better be. I hope so. Good. Very good. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Captain Captain Doe. We'll be flying today at an altitude of uh, I don't know, however high we can get this thing up in the air. Thanks for flying with our airline. If you look out your left side windows, uh, you'll notice we don't have any left side windows. We're still working on that. Now for your listening pleasure. YMCA is fun to stay at the YMCA. I think I'm gonna catch up on my shut eye. Maybe have a dream or something. This reality sucks. Oh! oh. oh What's man. wrong? You're experiencing some turbulence. Turbulence. Oh man. Turbulence. When, when are we gonna land? Well, we're on the ground, but we landed in a mosh pit. Mosh pit? <laughs> Did you write that line? <laughs> Yeah, we need some writers. Writers? You, you guys spent all the money on that manager. Oh, man. Don't oh, do need the writers. <laughs> Choice of movies for today's flight will be Airport, Airport 75, and Fire in the Sky. Hey, if I got this figured out right, we're going to all be millionaires after this tour. Wow. And I'll be able to afford some clean underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Yes, you did. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> In a moment, your stewardess will be serving refreshments. Uh, have her bring me up some ice, would you? We have a news flash. A report concerning those flashes in the pan, wet ducks. Their plane is missing. Missing what? I don't know. It doesn't say here. I get really tired of these incomplete news reports they hand me here. I mean, is it missing a wing, landing gear, or did it... Hello? Yeah. Oh, well, that's different. Okay. Well, it's altogether missing. Anyone who may have anything to report, please call us at one of these numbers. 1-900-555-0001, if you know where the plane is. 1-900-555-0002, if you know, but won't tell us. 1-900-555-0003, if you don't know, but feel like talking to someone. 1-900-555-0004, if you're a sexy blonde that likes newscasts. We'll be back on every channel, so don't bother changing. Uh, attention, ladies and gentlemen, it's just been brought to my attention. Uh, anyone not with the wet ducks party, uh, please leave the plane immediately. Oh, well, kids. kids. Sorry, I tried. Kids. Next tour, honey. Hey, bud, next hey. time. Wow, you know, you should have given them parachutes. <gasps> Come on, shake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
Scotty, we're gonna need more power up here. Give me everything you got. I always wanted to say that. Oh man, I think the peanuts are upsetting my stomach. Well, you should have taken them out of the bags before you ate them. Right. Why are you so spacey? Oh, you know, uh, I was thinking back to the old days. Oh, you yeah? Know, Tower City. Tower City. Yeah. Now, that was a disaster. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was. Look at the screen. Oh, yeah, look at that.
Hey, what happened to that manager slash pilot? He said he had something to do, I know. Yeah, something must have been important, I guess. My car too sexy by far. And I'm too sexy for my hat. Too sexy for my hat. What you think about that? I'm a model, you know what I mean? And I do my little turn. Uh-oh, I shouldn't have touched that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is your captain speaking. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. We're going down! Uh, We're going down! Uh, Are they going to be serving more drinks? I sure uh, hope so. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, Eddie's Brothers Incorporated, quality products since 1956. Well, folks, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Everyone brace yourself for a shock. They're okay. Although their plane is missing, the band has been sighted flying south for the winter. Well, so there goes my Emmy for Death of the Wet Duck series of specials. Oh, sure, I may win one of those stupid access awards, but what Yahoo couldn't win one of those? So, signing off for now, I'm Webb Foute. And I'm Annie Doolittle. You know, I need one of those snazzy sayings like Cronkite has. How about, tell them where you got it, or stay out of trees, or right when you find work. Oh, I don't know, whatever. Place. Man, beautiful island. island. Oh, oh, we hey guys, 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 look, look, look. We're gonna be rest. Oh no, wait a minute. That's the Plainfield Community Television blimp cam. <laughs> better yeah. way. Wait, <laughs> remember how much that one set us back in the budget? <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, we'll hey, look, later. there's Colonel Corey out there. Colonel Corey. Colonel Corey. Sharks. Sharks. Oh, he better. Oh wait, them. he's eating the sharks. Oh, no. Sharks. Ooh, better them than us. Wow, wow. If there's wow. anybody else in this island, you know, maybe Ginger, Marianne, <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Howell. Mrs. Howell. <laughs> maybe some script writers. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> God, this. Okay, folks, thanks for tuning in. Bye.
two man, that's up now.